Hello everybody, it is Saturday night, 7.32 p.m. Temperature is 70 Fahrenheit, 21 Celsius. I am at Grand Central Terminal's main concourse. Just got off a Metro North train from upstate New York. I went to Cold Spring, New York today, did some hiking. And now I'm back here in the city, ready to do a live stream. Grand Central is slowly returning back to life now. Hope everyone's doing well. But to start off, let me go down to the dining concourse and see how the activity is there. England family, thank you so much for 99 cents. Going down to the dining concourse. Any dining areas open? Oh my goodness. Not a lot open. That's the scary part about Grand Central Terminal. Look at this. This dining concourse used to be so busy and now like everything's closed off. It's kind of like spooky. Anything open on the other side of the dining concourse? I already ate so I don't need to eat here but I was just curious to see what the dining concourse is and oh my gosh. Olga Baron Swan, thank you for $4.99. Appreciate it, Olga, thank you. Look, even Shake Shack is closed. And they're super busy all the time. Why even have the dining concourse level open if there's no dining con uh, food court at all? They should just close off the sides and keep the tracks open. Well, look at this. Magnolia Bakery, there's no one attending it, but you can see their old cheesecake still on the window counter. Vanilla cheesecake, yoink! Key lime cheesesteak, cheesecake, yoink! No one here. And these cheesecakes are just sitting there. Yeah, no dining areas open in the concourse level. C Medina 238 with 20 bucks, dude. Nice night for a walk, have something on me. Hashtag true optic. And Cliff Cannon with a dollar ninety. Thank you, C. Medina238 and Cliff Cannon. Thank you. Yeah, this... This is spooky, I have to say. All right. Let's go up the escalator now. Hudson Blosser asking if New York is worth heading to this year. Me and my family are debating if we should go this year or not. I mean, it's up to you. For me, I would say for most people it's not worth it because a lot of the tourist attractions are not open and still New York isn't fully open yet. But for a lot of people who enjoy the simpler things in life, it may be worth traveling to New York at this time. Hotels are very inexpensive. Travel here is inexpensive. But uh, to each their own. Granted, we still have a pandemic. What in the world was that? Was that from the street level? 
someone's uh, acting cheeky there on 42nd Street. Uh, someone's asking me if I can go to the World Trade Center. Probably not on this walk. It's that's very far away from here, but maybe on a different walk I can. All right, 42nd Street, Pershing Square Plaza. And the sounds of New York City. Immediately out of Grand Central Terminal, you hear the honks. Because that's what New York City's known for, right? Mac P with the dollar ninety-nine. How am I doing, man? I'm doing great, but a little bit sore, I'll be honest. I just came from upstate New York from a three-hour hiking adventure in Cold Spring, New York, up the Bull Hill and I had a great time up there. Oh my God, I'm walking. 42nd straight looking a little bit lively now. Jay Collins asking if I'm going to Times Square during the walk. I just may. I'm not sure if I will because I covered it last weekend. I like to try to mix up my walk so I'm not walking the same places all the time. Uh, Laurie W, you look forward to that video if you recorded that day. Um, no, I didn't record the entire hike. I just recorded the main town, but I did put in my community page of a hike that I did two years ago, which covered most of the route that I did today. It's a five hours uh, long video. But I did Breakneck Ridge, I did the Breakneck uh, Ridge on the cliff pass, and then I went over to Bull Hill back to the village of Cold Spring in that video. So if you have uh, five hours to watch that video, or maybe you don't, you can just skip through it and see the good parts. You can find it on the community posts. Plus, I um, I am not shying away from recording long long hiking videos because I find that my audience and people in general don't really like watching hiking videos. They don't really do too well on my channel compared to like urban places and little villages and towns. I don't know what the reason for that is. Maybe the YouTube algorithm doesn't push hiking videos out to people or maybe because most of the population live in a suburban area. So I don't know. But I enjoy going on hikes every now and then. Even though the YouTube algorithm doesn't really push it or people don't watch the hiking videos as much. Shiba Baby 615 with five bucks. Your birthday was October 8th. Oh, happy belated birthday. Thank you for walking through my favorite part of New York City. And Blue Star Butterfly with 499 have a cup of cocoa on me. Thank you, Shiba Baby and Blue Star Butterfly. Thank you so much. And Roy Rohan asked if I went there by Metro North. I did. It was $15 one way, so $30 round trip. But definitely a nice break for New York City people if they want to take the Metro North up there. It's a very nice town. You can get a lot of great hikes in there. And I highly recommend it to people. So I'm approaching Fifth Avenue. I don't think Fifth Avenue will be too busy right now. It's way past shopping hours and all of the shops will be closed. 
Where I will go first though is Bryant Park. I'm curious who's at Bryant Park at this time. Joe Hernandez, J10, what time did I start the hike? I got to Grand Central Terminal by 8.45 a.m. That's when the train left. And I got off at the Cold Spring Station. Riven Phoenix with two bucks is dining new at Grand Central Station. Last in New York in 1995. Um, I think the dining concourse was there for a while. I haven't remembered a time where the dining concourse wasn't a thing at Grand Central Terminal. Traffic is busy on 5th Avenue at this time though. I gotta wait for the light on this side now to cross 42nd Street. Helen, Helen asked me how many pairs of sneakers do I go through a year? Oh, you do? You watch me? Wow. Hey. That is so crazy. You're so awesome. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh I wow! To, Which one is your favorite? Um, Queens. I Queens. Love yeah, I love flushing too. I love Korean also. I actually watched the Korean walking tours. In wow! Because that's how bad I want to. I know. Go. I want to visit them walk. too. Have you been? Wait, you do travel vlogs as well, right? And I do. In other countries. I did Taiwan and I did Mexico City. But you didn't do Korea. I didn't do Korea. I didn't have a chance to. Maybe you no, but I watched. Flushing because during the pandemic when I couldn't go, oh. I missed it so much. So I was watching your videos. Wow, well, I yeah. mean, I watch sometimes like Japan walking videos, Seoul oh, and do? Taiwan, China, yeah, oh, everywhere. So I'm peaceful. fascinated with Asia. I know me. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're Chinese. <laughs> Ni hao ma. <laughs> Ni hao ma, yeah. Hen no. hao. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, I like your videos. They're very awesome. Oh, thank yeah, you. I love the Korean. They're so calm. It's just like like a night out in korea mm -hmm. would be so epic it's you have so to do nice that. i have to you, you know have to do that. but you know we're in the pandemic Along now the it's hard River. to tra travel yeah that's true yeah maybe next year we'll see maybe next year right yeah it seems like there's tourists coming back in the city now, yeah they I are it. i was just in times square i was happy to all see right so many people. you know what i gotta go now because he <laughs> told me i'm gonna check out <laughs> new york public library bryant park times square can i say hi yeah, why not? Let's say hi. I gotta put. <laughs> See Medina Five Hello. for having a fan. All Good right. Good videos. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. No, she was very nice. Excited to see me. New York Public Library here. But yeah, if you're uh, ever interested in walking the world, there are a lot of different channels which cover different cities, different countries. Specifically ones that cover like places in urban centers like Seoul, Tokyo, Europe. I mean, it's really, really crazy how much the walking video or exploration POV genre has expanded especially in the last year. New York Public Library with the Lions, Patience and Fortitude. Guardian of Chaos, thank you for $4.99, dude. They've got the voting book in front of their pause, rethink vote. Really cool. Explore our 2020 election reading list. But I can't go to the New York Public Library directly. They've got a gate in front, so. I guess off the Times Square we go. 
She kind of hyped me to uh, go to Times Square and check it out again. Raphael saying, have I been to Times Square because of the protests there? No, I haven't been to Times Square tonight. I'm like five minutes away from it though. John Check, thank you for the two bucks. That doesn't look like Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what that in reference is to. Maybe Wizard of Oz, it doesn't look like Kansas anymore, but I don't know. I don't think Manhattan can ever compare to Kansas. Let's check out uh, Bryant Park. I wonder if the bathrooms are still open at Bryant Park. I know they're um, very, very clean and they're the best public bathrooms in New York City, but I never really know when they close. So right now it's like 7.30ish. Let's see if they're still open. Okay, Jeanette Morales with seven bucks. Missing my favorite U.S. city. Lived in Jamaica, Queens in 1993. Thanks for the live stream. Jeanette, thank you for coming on and for watching the favorite city with me. Okay, what do you think? Is Bryant Park going to be busy or not? Imbezo is asking how the wind is down here. It's a little bit chilly, but it's still manageable. You know, I had such a hard time dressing up today because um, I'm wearing a flannel shirt right now and in the morning it was actually too cold and I wish I brought a small jacket but what, by the time I got to cold spring by the way the bathrooms are open right now by the time I got to cold spring it was too warm and I had to take the jacket off I mean my uh, flannel shirt off and then at the end having dinner time I need to put it back on again so it's kind of like those times of the year where you don't really know how to dress properly you gotta like dress for multiple different occasions wow look at this look at this the central um bryant park lawn is being destroyed right now they got the bulldozer out there doing lawn renovations. I guess they're getting ready to put the ice skating rink up. It's already October 10th, so. Bryant Park Winter Village and skating rink is about to go up soon. And I'm pretty sure I filmed the lawn getting ready too. They were tearing down the uh, ice skating rink and the Winter Village in one of my other prior live streams. Maybe it was like in March or April. But yeah, this is something you don't really see too often. And I also pronounce often incorrectly. It's often, you don't pronounce the T, the T is silent. It's incorrect to say often. So yeah, it looks like, um, looks like a farm right now replowing but um, the rest of Bryant Park looks quiet 4k wandering yes this is Bryant Park I guess uh, the lawn was still here when you visited right but now the lawns being redone and torn up
Yeah, it's one of those like kind of tricky in English words that have the hidden pronunciation. Often the same word, uh, same thing with Z O O L O G Y. You think it would say, you think it would be pronounced zoology, but it's not zoology, it's zoology. There's no extra O in that word. Bryant Park being cleaned up right now. There's still a few people here on the tables. Just like uh, New Yorkers, we pronounce coffee incorrectly. It's not C-A-W-F-E-E, -E, it's C-O-F-E-E, -E. C-O-F-F-E-E. -E. It's coffee, not coffee. Hey, hey, look. Or maybe it's just the accent, right? Way were Y2, thank you for two, $20, dude, thank you. Thank you so much. Lauren Phonebone, thank you for three bucks. Appreciate it very much. Someone lost their ping pong ball. You can play free ping pong at Bryan Park. All the activities in Bryan Park are free. Yeah, there is a ping pong table in Bryant Park, J Mafia, right here. You can see them playing it right now. And uh, he just did a foul, or a fault, I think it's called. So um, what I'm going to do is go to Times Square, but I'm not going to take 42nd Street. I want to go over to 43rd and then cross over. Got four seconds to cross. And this is perfect, because now I got the light here. Look at that, huh? That's New York City walking. Timing the lights perfectly. All the time I go to Times Square via 42nd, but let's change it up a bit, go on 43rd. There's also the Steinway and Sons store on the corner of 43rd and 6th, the world famous piano factory and piano maker. This isn't the factory, by the way. The factory is in um, Astoria, Queens. John check with two bucks. Do biggers run up on you for money in the park? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I don't even know what a bigger is. This is a very unique view of Times Square from one of the side streets. Here we have a theater. I'm not sure if it's a Broadway theater. It's called the Town Hall. Adventures in modern recording. When I walk the dog, I get a coffee. Catch up saying you think he misspelled the word beggars. Oh, 
Okay, I'll uh, answer that now. Um, occasionally, there will be beggars. I mean, I think that's pretty much standard in every like modernized city in the world. And it is a problem of society. There's a lot of wealth inequality and a problem that governments and society needs to change. But once in a while, you do have beggars. Burger and lobster. What's over here? I've seen it. Um, I've seen Times Square from 40 seconds too many times that I kind of forget what it's like coming back to Times Square through one of the side streets. critical saying walking in LA would be impossible with the amount of needles and homeless. Yes, the homeless situation in LA is very critical and something needs to be done drastically. It's unfortunate that there's a situation like that, but I really hope for the best. Gilly Gill, thank you for two bucks. All right, Times Square. Are there more tourists than last time? Last weekend I was here. Robert Parker saying the town hall was also a place where Times Square Church is now located on Broadway and 51st. Okay, interesting. And now I think someone mentioned now it's a concert hall or a dance hall. Look at all these people, oh my gosh. I never thought Times Square would see this many people again. Welcome to Times Square. So many bright lights, I don't even know where to look. Franklin and NJ, you like how still I get excited walking in New York? Just come to Times Square and you'll find something new every single time. Especially now during the pandemic. I'm shocked to see this many people here. Kwaku with two bucks, thank you. All right, let's get my selfie in, right? Why not? Times Square, let's do this. I think I'll walk away from that gentleman. I was about to do my selfie there, but best when you see a little, someone who is a little bit mentally unstable to Watch your surroundings. All right. I got my Times Square selfies in. Someone's celebrating Halloween early. We got uh, Captain America, Iron Man, and Batman up ahead. Someone else had a screen mask on. Even Halloween is like um, only three weeks away now. What's up, man? Oh, wow, you're watching me now. Yeah, here in Times Square, all the tourists are here now. This is where it's at. Love the channel, love the channel. Alright man, take care.
That's the dude right there. He saw me. Awesome. All righty. Guys. So Times Square's around. It's lively again. John check with two bucks. What was the Bon Jovi sign about? I don't know. I don't see the Bon Jovi sign anywhere. But uh, let me get out of Times Square right now because I want to show another side street. I've covered Times Square so many times. But the areas around Times Square, that's what I want to find out what's going on now. So this is 44th Street, I believe, or 45th. We'll see some of the restaurants, how they're doing. Of course, now you got the the off-road bikes here in Times Square. I wonder how these restaurants and places around Times Square are doing now during the pandemic. It looks so quiet on this block and I really feel for like the business owners here. Oh, Donahue's bar. Look at that. Doors closed. Virgin's BBQ and bar. Lights out. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Where's all the people and the businesses back in action? Here's the Lambs Club. The Long Room Irish Gastro Pub. Kitchen's open late. But I'm gonna go over to Park Avenue now show you what's going on there. I think I'm gonna head over to 3rd Avenue and Lexington Avenue. Over there, there's a lot of restaurants and bar on that side. Right now, it is Saturday night, so I wanna see how the residents of New York City are doing today. Not so, um, not necessarily the tourists. Looks like I gotta walk around a food cart. There's not enough room on the sidewalk. Also folks, newly installed 6th Avenue bike lane, protected bike lane.
I know there's, the city was trying to make uh, 6th Avenue a little bit better for cyclists. I'm not sure if it's going to work well though. It really depends on how closely the motor vehicles are parked and how often the New York City Police Department enforce the bike lane. Thank you, board with usernames for the 10 pounds from UK, big fan, all right. Thank you, dude. I think I said I was going to Park Avenue, but that was 6th Ave. Look who's behind me. Look who's behind me. Who's this guy? I don't know him. Hello to my channel. What's <laughs> up, New York City Walking Show channel? Welcome who's also doing a live stream. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Bro. He found me, all right. It's pretty fun. Was I got it? Yeah. I you, some work. Oh, Over you went, there? where'd you go? You went to Times Square? Times Square. I need to make some video. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh wow. Stuff I got, so I That's funny. Stuff. I know. And uh, New York City Walking Show actually posted a video with me this morning in the story yeah, of Queens. Yeah. All right, man. Take care. Good night. Be safe. Be safe. Take care. I'll text you. All right. Isabella Sophia asking if I'm using a stabilizer. Yes, I am. I'm using the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. It's linked in the video description. But yeah, New York City Walking Show, also another great YouTuber. Does a lot of walking videos in New York City and also he's doing a live stream now. There's also a video of me with him in Astoria, Queens featured on his channel. So be sure to check him out too. Kind of quiet here on 45th. Definitely a lot different than one of the main cross streets like 42nd or 34th. JJ is asking if I'm afraid to walk around New York City with my camera equipment. I'll be honest, I am a little bit more heightened when I'm walking around with my camera equipment, more so than usual, especially during a live stream because everybody who's watching this live stream knows where I am. So you never really know what kind of things can happen on a live stream. So I'm always heightened aware and what's going on. Angela with 499, thank you so much. You're in my city celebrating your birthday wearing your face mask. Thank you, Angela. Angela, awesome. But yeah, um, I do feel that New York City is a little bit more unsafe than it used to be, especially during the pandemic. I'm noticing a lot more people who are mentally unstable, people who are down on their luck, and a lot more crimes being committed in New York, just through my walks around the city. Will New York City ever recover? Of course it will. The main question to ask is when. And when I think is another, 
question that is very, very hard to answer. Here's the world famous Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue, Midtown Manhattan. And I'm gonna twist it up a little bit. We're going to Fifth Ave. I think after Fifth Ave, Rockefeller Center, I'll see where else I can go. Maybe I still have time to go to um, Third Avenue and check out all those restaurants there. But yeah, it's exactly as I expected. Very quiet, not many people here. Everything's closed right now, it's after hours. Thank you, PR Grupo, with the 499. Thanks for all I do. You're very welcome, dude. I appreciate you supporting the channel and watching these videos and live streams. Roger Strand, thank you for 499. Both of you. Thank you, both of you. Thanks. At least all the New York City gift shops now are open. You can get like postcards and tourist things now. Athlete Saya asking if I'll get a copyright if you play a song while doing live. That depends on the copyright owner and what kind of licenses they have. Some songs they won't care, but most songs they'll hit you with something. So be very careful around recorded material during the live stream. Jorge Cortez, thank you so much. Four ninety-nine. I know. Oh, remember what? Remember what me and Jake did? Dutch bike blogger. I had uh, four thousand five hundred viewers plus on my live stream last weekend on Saturday night. Beer Fest channel, five bucks. Great show. What's the name of the camera and equipment I'm using? Let's do a beer tour together. Only thing is I don't drink, so. But my camera equipment's listed in the video description. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. All right, Diamond District. Let's check out this Diamond District now. And it is pretty much dead. It's very late. I don't think anyone will be selling jewelry and diamonds right now. John check with two bucks. Can I walk? Can you walk my N Apple store? I'm in MN. What's that mean? Can I go to the Apple store? I can, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it there this live stream. Tracy Baxter with five bucks, thanks. Uh, Starry night, the store, some stores are still closing early, but mostly have their regular business hours. J-Rod, I used to have the Note 9. I changed it for the 9 Plus because the Note 9 was too heavy for this gimbal and I had trouble balancing it. Yeah, 4K Wanderer, I'm a little bit tired but I've still got a lot of energy in me. Even after a three hour hike, I'm still hiking in New York City 
with you all. Razzle Dazzle 786, you hear parts of New York are closing down due to second wave of COVID. Um, right now, it's not necessarily a second wave of COVID in New York City. They just call them hotspot clusters. So I don't think we're on officially a second wave yet, but there's certain areas in New York City, especially in Brooklyn and Queens, which are having their openings like rolled back. Non-essential businesses are being closed again, like hair salons, indoor dining is being limited, and schools are being closed. But I did cover one of those hotspot neighborhoods during my last live stream in Kew Gardens, Kew Gardens Hills, and Pamanok. You can check that out. But through my live stream there, I noticed that it was still a very quiet day, quiet neighborhood, and I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary for that neighborhood to be locked down. But then again, the authorities tell us that there's a hot spot there and things need to be rolled back. So hopefully they're doing the right thing. All right, so this is 49th Street the start of the Rockefeller Center promenade. Let's wait for this car to make the turn. So in another month, Rockefeller Center on a normal like year, which doesn't have the pandemic, should be full of people just due to the holidays and people coming during November, the holiday season. Here's Rockefeller Center. Originally, this uh, area was owned by Columbia University. They wanted to develop the Metropolitan Opera House here, except what happened was during the Great Depression, Columbia didn't really see it as a viable option to build the um, Metropolitan Opera House here because there's no people to watch the opera. It's a depression. So what happened? They made Rockefeller Center. And they developed it into the Art Deco skyscraper craziness that we see today and made office space with it because that was the only way they saw to turn a profit on their investment. You can see Rockefeller Center here. They decorated the sides of their fountains with giant pumpkins. Really cool uh, touch for Halloween. Look at the size of that pumpkin over there. That one's huge. Makes me feel like it's not even real. It's always soothing to come by here and take a look at the pumpkins. They've got some odd shaped ones too. Look at this one. Kind of looks like a oblong squash a little bit. Maybe it's not even a pumpkin. John, check two bucks. Thank you. Do I see Tesla cars in Manhattan? Um, I do, but I'm not really like that observant on cars because they go by really quickly. I'm not really a car person, so. Eric B, thank you for five bucks. If I go to West 52nd, please show some of the old jazz clubs. All right, maybe I can go there, I don't know. They got other stuff than pumpkins here too. They got butternut squash. Look at that one. That one's like a U-shaped. Kind of resembles my uh, kryptonite bike lock a little bit. Butternut squash is probably like U-squash now. U-squash, butternut squash. These pumpkins alone are going to be Halloween decorations by themselves. Ugly pumpkin. Which one's the ugliest? Maybe this one. This one 
This one looks like an elephant, to be honest. It's got a discolored nose and it's got the ears. I mean, you see it, right? Elephant. Ooh, ugly pumpkin. This one's got freckles on it. Freckles on a pumpkin. Who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? Michelle Briggs? No, they're not free for the taking. Rockefeller Center owns the pumpkins. They placed them here. Anna Hernandez with $1.99. Thank you so much. Quickly, I gotta mute the song because I'm gonna get copyrighted. All right, I'm gonna walk out of Rockefeller Center now onto 50th Street, back towards Fifth Avenue. Let me see if I can balance this phone again. It's kind of tilting over to the left again. There we go, much better. Yeah, I can continue and you know it. The music is the nemesis of a YouTube walker. Unfortunately, yes. YouTube keeps, uh, takes music copyright violations very seriously sometimes. My live stream is demonetized two weeks ago for 10 seconds of a song. All right, the hand is flashing. Let's hurry up. You know what? I just ran across. Tara T, thank you for $4.99. Tara, awesome. Actually, it may not be Tara T, it's Tara Taya, but thank you so much. St. Patrick's Cathedral to my left. I forgot to mention it, but those of you who have followed my live streams know already about this cathedral, Neo-Gothic Cathedral, home of the Roman Catholic Church in New York City, the seat of the Roman Catholic Church. Should be open tomorrow though for um, Sunday services. Jonathan Martin with 299. Can I walk Brownsville at night? I could one day. All right. I have a sidewalk here that is obstructed. Got to go around it. Here's Park Avenue. Park Avenue, no, not Park Avenue, it's Madison. Madison and then Park Avenue. Madison Avenue even quieter than Fifth. There's like no cars here at all. You know, I really like the style of 
lights from the building here. Blue, white, and red. I think that's a um, enticing advertising now for buildings. They encourage people to live in the space or work in the space by telling people that they have lighted displays. We can light up in blue, white, and red. Well, red, white, white, and blue, depending on which direction you look at it. Grace Joy, it's really quiet for 828 on a Saturday night. It's normally quiet around here. There's the business district. But once I get over to 3rd Avenue, that's where you get a little bit more of the bars and restaurants for the people who live in Midtown East. So we'll see uh, what's going on there. Ayanna CN saying someone else was just live in Manhattan. Yes, New York City walking show. He just met me on four, uh, 45th Street, right near Times Square. Okay, I am not dealing with this again with the closed street, so I gotta cross over the other side. Waldorf Astoria residences, by the way. I don't think it's a hotel anymore, but it's being renovated. All right, St. Bartholomew's Church over here. Dragon, you watch, should be cleaning, but you'd rather watch me. Why don't you do both? You can still clean and watch at the same time. Sometimes I do that. Matthew Schaefer asking if I ever go upstate to explore. I just did today. I went to Cold Spring, New York, and I did a hike there. Did a video in Cold Spring and then came back to Grand Central Terminal and went live. That was my day today. I remember passing by this Starbucks, the same Starbucks, on the same exact day that phase two of the coronavirus reopening was enacted, which allowed office workers to go back. And the Starbucks was open, but all the office buildings were still closed pretty much. Laura C, thank you for $2.99, appreciate it. Here's Lexington Ave. Barnabas Bullpet 499 over 4k watching. Maybe I could set a new record. Who knows? Anything's possible on the internet. A lot of hotels over here. Benjamin Hotel. Very quiet. New York luncheonette. Lunch, luncheonette, dinner, breakfast. Okay, look at this. I told you Third Hour is going to have some activity. 
This is where the people live. Third Ave and east of Third Ave. Where are they going to eat? Here. This is uh, Bistango at the Kimberley. Kind of hard to make it out, but. No, thank you for the 777. I'm almost at your old street, all right. You know, the po um, prices are pretty reasonable here. Pretty reasonable for uh, Midtown Manhattan. It was actually more expensive at the place I ate, upstate. But only because I was curious and I wanted to see how it was up there. Jay Zara Insight with the R1890. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Whoa, there's a party going on or what? A lot of balloons there. Maybe it's a baby shower or a birthday. All right, let's go to Third Ave. Waiting for the light now. Can I cross? Are there cars coming? There's a cyclist coming, but they're going really slow. There's a bar here on the corner. I'm curious if it's busy or not. Wolenski. Wolenski on 49th and 3rd. Is it busy or not? Maybe the side of the, um, the place is busy. Looks like the lights are actually off. So not open but there's a few places over here let's check this out I see a place with activity over here another restaurant Mitsu M with 499 keep up with the posts love keeping up with the updates about New York City yes thank you so much Here's a bar, Borolo East restaurant. I see they have a table, um, they have a few tables seated actually, so good for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tables seated outside, so that should be good for them. Red 2 saying Midtown is going to be the most happening place. Um, unless it's Times Square. It was busy in Times Square. But most of the people live here, east of 3rd Avenue, 2nd Avenue, 1st Avenue, Sutton Place, and all the uh, cross streets as well. There's a pizzeria over there on the side, 2nd Ave. Maybe we'll see something on 2nd Ave. There's a few places on 2nd Ave.
most of the um, restaurants on 2nd and 3rd Ave, they're kind of scattered though in Midtown. They're not really in a giant cluster like Hell's Kitchen, 9th Avenue, or Restaurant Row. Okay, we have some activity over there. I can't read the name of that restaurant right away, but it has a few tables seated. Bar Nacho, I think it's called. Gee, people here are driving way too fast. All right. Few places seated here. <laughs> this place over here, Press Box, has a table seated, but that's it. Their outdoor dining is um, kind of quiet right now. I hope it picks up later on. All right, we got restaurants on that side of the street and restaurants over here. So what I'm gonna do is cross over now and see what's happening over here at Eno, no, it's called La Pecora Bianca. You can see they have um, all the dividers up for COVID. That's what that restaurant is doing right now. And there's a lot of outdoor seating here. I even smell all the food now, it's great. Drink like a fish, bottom rush brunch. It's a laugh. Cray fish bar. Looking pretty good here. This place doesn't have any seating, or anybody seated, I should say. But they are closed, it seems like. So I'm not sure what's up with this, but. You have here the Morning Star Cafe. It looks like it's open, but no one's here. Yes, sir, 5075, thank you for the $20 Canadian. Appreciate it. No one's even inside either. And here's. Sokorat Paella Bar. They've got some places seated. Gina, thank you for $4.99. This place is called the Horny, the Horny Ram. So if you want to go eat at the Horny Ram, you're free to on 2nd Avenue. Horny Ram food and cocktails. Reserve your table on Yelp. They're open until 11.30 today, so still a lot of time to come out here if you're in the house. Look at how busy it is here. This is Midtown. I don't want to knock over anyone's drink or food. Sometimes these waiters, they bring out the food and it's hard. Look at this, Cornerstone. Busy, busy, busy. This block is hopping.
Yeah, I had to turn the sound off just for a few seconds because there was a song playing. I didn't want to get in trouble with copyright. Here's a bake shop that's open, Buttercup. If you want a uh, late night ice cream or pastry, you can. There's a few places like that. What's my viewer number record? A little over 4,500 viewers and we just broke it now, I think, maybe. It's absolutely incredible that I'm getting so much viewership. There's a Mimi's restaurant across the street. It's out. You want to be? All right. It's Saturday night. You're here to eat out and party. Am I going to be on some famous vlog? I'm on YouTube. YouTube Live. YouTube! Yeah. I'm Action Kid on YouTube. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> you think anyone's gonna see me? People saw you already. Fuck yes, follow my YouTube, subscribe and like. Alright. I don't have a YouTube though. Oh, she doesn't, alright. Action Kid. Subscribe to Action Kid. Yeah, I got it. you gotta subscribe to me. I don't subscribe to me. <laughs> Mimi's looks busy. This place is a little more quiet over here. They've got three tables seated. Hendrix fan, thank you for five bucks. Nice late town night food walk. You love Koreatown food? Yes, Koreatown should be hopping today too, but I want to show Midtown East because not a lot of people know Midtown East is a foodie scene, but there's a few restaurants here. Gotta mute. the motorcycles out tonight. Here's 54th and 2nd. Dutch bike blogger. I think you're officially confirming the record viewership on this channel for live streams. 4.6K viewers, concurrent viewers, incredible. I'm so grateful that so many people here are watching this stream tonight, seeing how New York City is like right now. I'm blessed to have such an awesome audience. So I really thank everyone. Terrell, there was 49.50 last weekend. Well, even if last weekend was more, if it was, was true, I still thank everybody. Roy D, thank you for 9.99 from Chelsea D. All right. Here's uh, Angelo's Pizza. They got a large space for dining. Old fashioned square pie, old round pie, white pie, calzone. This is what they have to offer over here. You can see they have a smaller platter size and a bigger platter size. 
Ladang or Ladang with $5 Australian. Me and my students Alphonse and Elsie are struggling to calculate the calculus math questions. Maybe you were distracted. Or maybe we were distracted and watching your feed. You're not the only one. I also struggled in calculus. It's uh, too abstract for me. I can't really think in terms of derivatives and integrals. I have to think in addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. I'm sure like 90% of the world's jobs out there do not need calculus. And if you think about it, addition is basically multiplication, division, and subtraction. It's just different versions of it. Okay, 56 and second, the Shadmore. They're a little bit busy right now. It's looking nice. Wow, it's almost 9 o'clock right now. 8.49 p.m. 68 Fahrenheit. Whoa, what happened there with the focusing? I think that digital display threw the camera out of whack. Dragon Hunter, are my legs tired yet? They are. And also a reason why I'm probably going to end the live stream here because I've been walking over an hour and like close to 20 minutes now. So I might as well just catch the bus over a few blocks. I also went on a three hour hike and came back. So I'm going to end the live here, stream here, folks. Wait for the next bus. But anyway, if you enjoy this live stream showing what Midtown Manhattan is right now during a Saturday night, be sure to smash the like button, destroy it for me, make it blue, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.